Listen. Can you hear it? Neither can I. Our air conditioner is off again. A couple videos ago, you, uh, well, we explained the problem we were having with a 30 amp that was not running our compressor because there wasn't enough power at the pedestal. They moved us, and initially it, that worked a little better, but now, two days later, actually, the next day, we're having the same problem again. And we're at a KOA in Spokane. I don't expect these kinds of problems from a KOA, but we are. Um, I went down to the office again, complained a little bit, and the maintenance guy came out, checked the, checked the breaker, everything seemed to be fine, but we are like the furthest side away from the breaker. So yesterday, they actually moved us further away from the breaker, not closer to it. Um, in theory, those sites would have better, con better power, more consistent power. So we might be moving yet again, so we can run AC. If we don't find it here, we're leaving Spokane because we got your camera. We don't need to be here anymore. We need AC more than we need anything else at this point. So. And the way we know right now our AC is not on and we're at 117 volts. That's good. But when the AC kicks on with the compressor, this kicks down to 101. That is extremely low and it can burn up our internals. And I called my dad to confirm all this. He's probably watching this video. Um, he did this for 13 years. He knows his stuff. And he recommended that we either move to a 50 in the, in the campsite or just get the heck out of here because it's not worth the risk. So we're going to try plan A. If that doesn't work, we're out of here. That's perfect. Wonderful. Can I reserve that? <laughs> well, they tried to move us to another spot, but all the pull throughs were taken. All the 50 amps were taken. They could have moved us to another 30 down the way there. But honestly, the guy said, you're probably going to have the same problem. So I said, we're leaving and he'll gladly refund our money. So they're, they're not being, you know, they're not being dicks about it, which is a good thing, but we can't depend on this power. So we're out of here. We're driving about 100 and, well, an hour and a half west, which is the way we were going to go anyway. Uh, we're just leaving a little bit early. 20 minutes later, we are hitched up and we are on the way. For the record, not happy that we had this happen in the KOA, but they were very apologetic and accommodating. They were, they offered to refund us. I didn't even have to ask for that. So in their defense, um, they knew the problem and they were, they understood us leaving. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're heading to Wilbur, I think. It's in between where we were gonna be in Leavenworth and here. I figured we had a better chance of getting a Saturday night reservation with 50 amp somewhere outside of the big city. And we got one. Don't know how cell service will be there, but we'll, figure that out when we get to it. AC is more important at this point. Hour and a half drive. Okay, let's go. Oh, Spokane. We wish we could have seen more of you. And we will someday. Just not in this heat. I think we both feel that way. I feel like I'm ending the video, but we just started. <laughs> we are here at our new site, in our new campground, 50 amp, works great, AC's on, hot water, water heater's on. The only negative about this place is we get zero, and I mean bupkis, Verizon signal. There actually, it's not no service. There's just like extended one bar, which However, we didn't try to boost. We probably should try to boost just out of curiosity. Look what's directly outside our rig. Baby. Not the prettiest thing in the world to look at, but the Wi-Fi repeater is right outside of our campsite. So, so we have Wi-Fi and it's actually pretty good. Yeah, so I think we'll be okay for two days. Um, 
we back up right to a road, so it might be a little bit noisy tonight for sleeping, but we'll have the AC going and our white noise generator, because we have done a video about how to sleep no matter where you are in your RV, I'll link to that. Um, so we should have no problems there. And get some work done tomorrow. They actually have a restaurant here, and they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and homemade pizza, either in the restaurant, which is kind of small, or delivered to your RV. That's kind of cool. I don't know if we'll do it. But it's a full cool. service shop, kind of like the KOA was. Not the one we just came from, the Tucson KOA. Yeah, where we used to stay. It's loud in my ear. That it's is, um, ear. sorry. That, I'm just trying to talk over the AC. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's nice to have. Yeah. So we'll be going to Leavenworth on Monday. So tomorrow, even if we just sit and do work and chill out in the chill air, I'd be okay with that. But maybe we'll see what Wilbur has to offer. Wilbur, Washington is where we are. When you have a day in the middle of nowhere, Washington, at the campground, what do you do? Me, I'm sitting here working on our course. We asked you guys about that a little while ago. So I am busy, busy getting the course all done, um, spending a lot of time on that, and we have good Wi-Fi here. So that is what I'm doing, but let me show you what Steve's doing. Steve is being productive as well. Bosley needed a bath pretty badly. He's looking much, much nicer. Look how shiny that tire is. Very, very nice. Get it done before it gets too hot. Want to take girls for a walk? Yeah, sure. I think they'd like to go. Patty, do you want to go for a gonna, walk? Penny was going to eat, but... Patty, do you want to go for a walk? A walk. Always, huh? Always, yeah. Patty, Penny's like, uh... Ah, fine. Fine. Not a bad camp for two nights, huh? No, works fine. Loud, because it's next to the road, but we're inside with the AC the whole time, so it doesn't bother me. AC, baby. So you can see this campground is right by a neighborhood. As well as the road, as you know. Interesting little gardens here. There's the office. This campground has 50 amp as well as 30 amp, back in, pull through, some sites with sewer, some sites without, but they all have power and water. So that's nice. Tomorrow we're off to Germantown. Leavenworth. Also called Leavenworth, not Kansas. Not Kansas. Not Kansas, no. Look at those tires. We're gonna have the best looking rig pulling out of here tomorrow. Right. At least from a tires and wheels perspective. <laughs> Line them with our tires. Meanwhile, our neighbor's making bacon, it smells good. I know, I could smell the bacon. That's it for tonight. We'll see you tomorrow for another travel day in this little German town in Washington.